guys, my name is Sean. Welcome to Venom Racing, and today I'm going to give you my initial impressions and pretty much kind of review on the Stage 2 Plus, whatever you want to call it, whatever stage this is at this point, and also the e tuning process and review of Fat Body Tuning, other known as Ron Watson. So, this it so pretty much this build right now has the TGV del delete, EGR delete, and has the top mount intercooler from Matt Performance. I was unable to use their charge pipe because it didn't fit because I had the I'm running the Coyo aftermarket radiator, so there was not enough clearance room between that and that OEM fans. And I didn't want to run aftermarket fans, so I've just heard some horror stories about overheating. So I ran that, and also I'm running a Cobbs Cadet, not, not Cobbs, sorry, I'm running a Cobbs. Catback exhaust matted up to a Grim Speed Catted J pipe. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't actually heard the exhaust the sound clip, go ahead and check out the video. I want to say it was like last week or so. I have a sound clip and review of that exhaust setup, which sounds really good for a daily driver. It's not too loud and noxious, very minimal drone, but it sounds really nice. You do get to hear the turbo spoil up, which is always a good plus. So, really, that's all that's on this car, guys. It's pretty much, I guess, your typical stage two build. And also has a Koyo Rad, and that has nothing to do with the performance. But that and also it has the grim speed um, boost control solenoid as well too so that's the setup right now guys um so i went ahead and i did a lot of research before picking an e-tuner and i rent, went with fat body tuning just because i've heard nothing but good things about him he's pretty much ron watson is the god of the fa platform from what i read online so the only e-tuning like experience i've had before was with Jeff Evans tuning and that's with the with my supercharged S2000 which I had a great experience with Jeff Evans and I really honestly contemplated on hiring him to do my e-tuning for this because he does also do with the cop access port but the only reason I didn't is because Jeff is a great tuner but I feel like he I mean he can tune anything really well but I feel feel like at that point fat body he really specializes with these FA20 engines which we're still learning about for the most part so I figured he'd be the best one to go to a good analogy I like to use is why would you go to a Japanese sushi bar for a good steak? I mean, they might have a decent steak, but no, I'm not trying to talk about Jeff because Jeff is a great tuner. Yeah, I, I, the tune on the S2000 is amazing, but I'm just saying that's the reason I chose Fat Body. I, over Bren tuning, I heard a few odds and ends. I'm not trying to say bad anything about Bren either, but I just heard the best responses from Fat Body tuning. So I went ahead and paid for the tune. It was actually on sale at the time for. $300 for an e-tune, which was pretty cheap in my opinion. The whole process took maybe about a week, and mainly that was because of me and when I was working. So I worked 12 hour shifts, so I had minimal free time in the days I did work. But the days I was off, I was able to just knock out the tunes, um, the third gear pool. So um, it took us about a total of 16 revisions, which that included a lot of third gear open, wide open throttle pools. And that sounds like a lot of revisions, but in my opinion, the more revisions, the better, because it the tuner is actually trying to do a good job on tuning your car, so you're trying to make everything perfect with very minimal knock and the whole and um, pulling timing. So that's what we went for for the most part. And after about 14 revisions of doing wide open throttle pulls, kind of um, idling, just cruising logs and whatnot, we finally finished up the tune. And this is a let me read let me got let me read you this message from Ron Watson. This is I, I say this email to this day because I think it's the funniest probably. The funniest thing that I've ever read before in my life. He said, everything looks good. Now go out and do a two to third minute beating log, aka drive it like you stole it, aka lay the hammer down, first of fourth gear pulls, highway pulls, etc. However you're going to beat on the car when the tune is complete. The goal of this log is to make sure the car is driving fine aggressively during aggressive driving. If you don't drive aggressively, I cannot verify that the tune is good. Don't overthink it. However you're going to beat on the car, just do it. If you're gonna drive 160 miles per hour, do it. If you're gonna do a first to six gear pulls, do it. If you're gonna drive 90 miles per hour in reverse, do it. Please do it in one log, thanks. So that's the email I got from Ron Watson. And in my tune, when I did the beating tune, I so this car is going to be used on the Dust Bowl Rally. So I'm gonna be having the running at maybe like 110 degrees weather in the deserts over in Arizona, Utah. Starting off in New Mexico, going all the way to California. So. It's going to be very hot. This car is going to be beat on quite a bit because i got to keep up with supercars so I can catch some of the good footage and whatnot. So, yeah. So I made sure to do at least a few 90 mile per hour reverse pulls. And I also did a few J turns in the middle. You know, I kind of watched Baby Driver before doing this. And I got a lot. I'm just playing, guys. But I really did take this car out and I, I beat the snot out of it. Um, 
I really thought I shot out a few fireballs. I mean, it it popped so loud a few times when it would when I would shift very quickly from third to fourth. It I mean, it sounds pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, the car it just really shocked me. I was really shocked what this thing can do at this point. Um, so we ended up doing that, and I got a little bit of knock, not very 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 minimal amount. So he went ahead and just pulled back a little bit as well too, and I got the last revision. I beat on it again, and well, the car is how it's been, and I've been driving it like this for the past three weeks. The car, it it idles a lot better than it did stock. Even with the Cobb Stage 1, it idles so much better. You don't have the rev hang like you did with the stock tune, obviously. Um, I mean, you didn't really have it with the Cobb Stage 1 either, but it's so much more smoother now. The car, before even on the Cobb Stage 1, I felt like I could hear some like knock, almost, when I would just barely be under low low gas, and it was low boost too, but it was just, I would hear some like feedback knock. I wouldn't have the access port out, but I would hear like a knocking noise almost, and an uh, audible knock. And with the tune now, I don't hear any of that. I can run with the AC on, the car cuts back a little bit obviously, but it still runs great. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about this. Uh, it took about, like I said, a week long, and it was mainly because he was waiting on me. He would have a tune done in 15 minutes at revision, then I would have to go out and run the car. And it was a long process, but we finally got it done. Uh, Ron Watson is probably one of the best tuners for this car, in my opinion, for doing an e-tune. I mean, they get this car set up so great. He was more trying to get this thing reliable because I told him what I wanted it to be set up for. But there is a good amount more power before. Like, I gave uh, old John a ride in this other day, and he rode it when it was stock, Cobb Stage 1. And he said, man, this thing is really quick. I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's not a very fast car, but it's a quick car. It's a quick daily driver for the most part. The S2000 is a lot quicker, but I mean it's a supercharged S2000. Of course, it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot quicker. So it's making a little bit, probably about 100 more wheel horsepower. So um, I can't really compare that because it's apple, apples to oranges. But the car does run significantly better. Even if you're running a stock setup and you're wanting just to delete the TGV and EGR just so you can break down the carbon buildup and you want to get the codes deleted and you want a smoother tune, I'd recommend going through Fat Body's e-tuning um, process because you guys will not be disappointed I guarantee it your car will run better than it ever has before and there's no disappointments here I I the only disappointment that I like upon the tuning process I wish I would have done it sooner I mean the the car just it feels like it should have came from factory the idle is much smoother where before the idle would kind of jump around a lot a lot when you're sitting at the red light right now it's sitting in a constant about 800 um, when you're getting on it like I said, it, it just pulls all the way to the top instead of just feeling like you reach 4,000 RPMs and then just kind of drops off. It pulls a little bit more towards red line. But the actually peak boost is typically around 18 pounds. But as Fat Body was saying before I was reading that, there's more ways to make power than just by adding boost. So that's that's another cool thing that you're running a little bit lower boost. And you're not having as much of a boost peak at low RPMs, which leads to a lot of the... The, the engine failures which are known on these cars so I'm hoping that I think you will run a lot safer and reliable car if you get a fat body tune on a stock setup just maybe deleting the EGR and TGV just to make sure you're not going to get as much carbon build up on the intake valves so guys if y'all are looking to do an e-tune look no further than fat body tuning I wouldn't like I said I don't have experience with the other tuners but everyone I haven't saw one negative review about fat body or Ron Watson as tuning services in my opinion it is a 10 out of 10 I, I would highly recommend if you have a WRX and you want to get tuned go hey even if you're gonna run a J pipe or anything of that nature I would not run an off-the-shelf Cobb's tune by itself I just feel like there's so many variables between each different car that just go ahead and get an e-tune get it perfect for your car if you're already gonna spend 300 on an access port or 600 on an access port spend another 300 on a tune I guarantee you guys your car will run much better and you'll enjoy the car much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope this helps you guys if y'all are looking for a tuner. And let me know in the comments below what tune y'all are running and if you have experience with that body and what you think of your car. All right, guys, in the next video, we're going to be taking this thing out from San, Santa Fe, New Mexico, all the way to San Francisco, California. Will this thing make it without blowing up? I don't know. I hope not because this is supposed to be my daily driver um, between Oklahoma and Kansas when I start grad school in, in a month. So I don't have a job. So... <laughs> so guys I, I hope it doesn't blow up because if not I guess I'll be driving the S2000 back and forth that's going to be a terrible drive every day alright guys well like the video subscribe for more and we will see you guys in the next one